Oh, hi there. This is Ellie Tom Alameen. I'm a breatharian, Qigong, and meditation master, and also an author, and also a breatharian. A breatharian comes from the ancient word which means a media, and it means a person that can cultivate themselves energetically to eat very little food or none at all. This knowledge is new to the planet, but it's coming out more and more for teachers like myself that's all around the planet. And right now we're, giving the, we're breaking the preconceptions and bringing out this knowledge more and more. This is a friend of mine from Spain. Her name is Maria. <laughs> and Maria, she went on a path of anorexia. And the reason why we're bringing this up is because I see a lot of breatharians who go on the path, but it seems like they're going the wrong direction. They're going too fast. The bodies are not looking, looking really attractive. And they're mistaking the anorexia, the binge eating, the eating disorders with breatharianism. And this is the problem. If it looks unattractive, it's not healthy. And we want to let people know that breatharian deal deals with the path of health. You should look healthy. You should feel more energetically. And this is what we're going to talk about today. So right now, how you doing, Maria? I'm fine. And she's about to tell you. <laughs> Her journey that she went through on overcoming anorexia. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all I can say is that um, I was anorexia. I didn't do it for just one reason. It was uh, all kind of reasons. I mean, it gave me so many things. I guess it covered it all. Like it gave me the uh, possibility of control. You know, I'm a very... I used to be, sorry, <laughs> a, a very controlling uh, person, see. not controlling, but whatever. Like, like a lot of people. Say. Okay, <laughs> so I liked control a lot, see. and so what way, what, what best way to do it than something you have to do like three, four times a day, and it means something so special to you, like food, so you can restrict yourself and... Um, and also it had to do with uh, my, how do you say this in English, exigence, exigencia, like uh, something similar to control, like you want to reach more and more and more and more. A power? And, uh, I mean, yeah, not power exactly, but when you you want to do something and then they push you, you you're going to edit this, I guess, they put... put you know, it's like the teacher, which is very, you have to do this. No, better, better. You ah. have to get an A and all that. Gotcha. Kind of. Okay, that had to do with that. Also. <laughs> okay, it had nothing to do with attraction, with sexual attraction whatsoever. As they said, that it is that models and all that. It has nothing to do with that. You are not worried at all about how you look, really. So it was dealing with a mental aspect of control. Yeah, and also a state of mind, which I learned lately, that that was something I was looking for, which is that state of mind, which is not really on earth, but very, like, high above, you know, like, mm. a little bit, like, floating. It's not that I hadn't energy, because I was 16, and I did. See. I did have energy, but I like to spend it uh, on my own mind. You so know, I, I like to train. So when you first started this journey, did your friends around you notice it at first, or was it secret? It was so like I moved from my town at the same time, so not m not my friends nor my parents knew about it. Ah, exactly. So we didn't know it was anorexia either. I, in at that time, I'm 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 very young, but I don't <laughs> see. It, 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 it wasn't a word or a concept people mm. managed. A lot. Did you lose a whole lot of weight real fast, or? I don't know. I don't really remember how long it took me. I was like 39 kilograms, which for me is very little because my bones and my constitution is very strong. See. Si. Yeah, so I was really, really skinny, but I, I didn't look... I didn't think I was. Oh, I see. I thought I was... So I that's mean, another thing dealing with the mindset. You're looking at yourself one way, but others might be looking at you differently. I don't know. I just... I saw myself, I was fat. Mm. Not really fat, fat, but it was like, I just still have to take this out. There was <laughs> nothing to take out. It was really amazing, which gave me a way to think uh, that we are all... I mean, we see the world as we want. Oh, exactly. <laughs> and that's one thing about it. Uh, 
food eating and everything else that we do is in our heads and we be surprised how much the, the mind is controlling our reality controlling all the cells in all our of body it, all of it <laughs> it was two plus two five because mm -hmm. I, I dressed like in in children shops See. And I, I saw a girl I liked and I wanted to try her trousers and it was so big and many, many other proofs that I was really thin. But See. I still thought, no, this is because blah, blah, blah. So I put my mind, uh, you know, we all mm -hmm. do, we, int we do all <laughs> interpretation of reality. See, that and that's why it's so important too for us to come out with this as we're dealing with the breatharian path. Because, like I said, too many people are dropping weight too fast. They got the wrong concept that if I stop eating, I'm going to live. Everything will be okay. And we're trying to say this is all dealing with energy. It's all dealing with another form of nutrition. It's about opening yourself up, giving your body time to grow, to grow energetically. The cells of your body uh, uh, feeds off of energy. But, of course, if it's uh, polluted or have a lot of toxicity, you have to give it time to get rid of that and getting into a new cycle, a new thought process that pretty soon that will control the body and the mind. But anyway, this is interesting that you're getting into because you quit food for other reasons or going on that path dealing with uh, these different eating disorders. And what made you realize it was a disorder? I didn't realize at all. I just once went into a bar and I thought, I think it was just about the time it ended because I just saw myself in the mirror and I thought it was someone else and I saw like a skeleton with a big eyes and I thought good girl and then I realized it was me oh my gosh. <laughs> so I thought mm, you know I don't know what else would have had me coming around from my own mind you know right <laughs> wow but that's yeah. an eye opener yeah you saw yourself and said who is that <laughs> oh that's me <laughs> So now it's time for changes to be made. Yeah. And that usually happens on many different levels. A person, uh, not too long ago, we was dealing with another di eating disorder, and that's obesity. And it was amazing that they went through the same thing. They looked in the mirror, who is that, and see how big they didn't get. So vice versa, like we said, is dealing with this mind again. And being on these paths of different eating disorders, different diet changes on creating what we want. We want to create the best things for ourselves mm -hmm. and we want to do it with the most knowledge as possible. So when you come on the Breatharian path, if you meet Breatharians like myself, try to get as much information as you can. There's many reading materials. We're in the age of the internet. There's a lot of retreats going on. And like I said, this knowledge is going around the planet more and more. Uh, you can follow me on uh, my YouTube channel, Ellie Tom uh, Elamin. Or you can look at my website, elitomelamine.com. And thank you again, and thank you, Maria. You've been you. such a special <laughs> guest. <laughs> Talk to y'all soon. Okay, ciao. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs>